complicated surgery. There was an unexpected connection to the patient that was on the table. The hospital was in the middle of a lockdown. I mean, it was a very, very tense environment. Okay, what exactly are you telling me? That you gave her the wrong meds. And it almost cost Siobhan her life. No. No, I, I couldn't have made that mistake. Give me my son. You mean my great-grandson. Aiden was never a Cassidyne, and you know it. Not according to two different DNA tests. Yeah. Tests that you forged, or at least tampered with. Ugh, you give me far too much credit. It didn't work, Helena. Now give me my son. Such a doer, young man. <coughs> well, you didn't inherit one speck of Luke's humor and charm. Oh, how I miss him. How did you even get in here? Where's the nanny, anyway? Well, she's upstairs. Unharmed. No, she's a, she's a delightful young girl. She's a bit gullible, poor dear. You know, she didn't even blink her eyes when I told her I was family dropping by for a visit. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> not going to happen again, trust me. No, I'd like my son. <sighs> All right. You have to go to him. Yes. Bye. You can have him. Listen, when I come back, you better be gone. Maybe if we just we step it out, something will come back to you. There's nothing to remember. I know the difference between blue and green. Can you just humor me? Uh, Siobhan was crashed in. The hospital was on lockdown. Yes, chaos was raining. You were afraid that we were going to run out of supplies before the surgery was over. It's taking a while to locate the bleeder. And then her... ICP was increasing. And I ordered the 14 milligrams of the dexamethasone. Yes, and I gave that to her. Right, and then her blood pressure dropped off a cliff. And you thought it was another bleeder. But it wasn't. Dr. I didn't give Siobhan the wrong medication. They did an inventory of the OR after the surgery, and the medication that I ordered was never given. But a vial of heparin was used and discarded. Then it was me. I gave her the wrong vial. God, I almost killed Siobhan. I thought I told you to leave. Oh, surely you can spare a minute for an old acquaintance. I have nothing to say to you, and you have no reason to be here. Nicholas left the country with Spencer, and he's not coming back. It's over, okay? He knows the truth. We all do. Well, I wish my grandson had consulted me before he ran off. Honestly, it's... it's positively doltish the way you and Nicholas allow your lives to be dictated by that lying little <laughs> broodmare. Okay, here we go again. You're just gonna deflect what you did and put it right onto your favorite target, right onto Elizabeth, right? No, you're the predictable one, Lucky. Knee-jerking to Elizabeth's defense. Your little angel who can do no wrong. Oh, get a clue, Lucky. Before that woman ruins your life once and for all. You know, the only thing Elizabeth is guilty of is believing her own eyes about Aiden's paternity. And you know what? It wasn't that difficult to figure out. What are you going to do when I die? Throw a party? No. Who are you going to scapegoat for Elizabeth then? She lied to you, Lucky. She's done it many times before and always for the same reason. It's you. Always you. Okay, you can keep talking, but I'm not going to believe a word you say. Lucky. Lucky, open your eyes. Elizabeth wants you back. Now, the only way and the best way to accomplish that is to make you think that the two of you are bonded eternally through a child who is actually carrying your DNA for a change. Except Aiden is not carrying your DNA. Oh, and too bad about your inconvenient wife. I heard you put her in the hospital. I'm trying to process all this. I've never made that kind of mistake before. We, it's human. I mean, we're, we're human. It happens. Yeah, but you welcomed it, me into your OR. You trusted me, and I let you down. I'm so sorry. Well, thankfully, no lasting harm was done. Yeah, because of you. Man, I almost killed a patient. And not just any patient. My ex-husband's brand new wife. No. And not to rub salt in the wound, but I, I just don't want you to be blindsided as my colleague. But, you know, there's... 
going to be an inquiry. Uh, I was, qualifies as medical malpractice. I can lose my license, right? Yeah, hopefully it's not going to come to that. Right? I mean, besides, I don't think this is all your fault. I really don't. What do you mean? You're still grieving the loss of your son. I can only imagine how tough that is. I think Steve might not have been as objective as he should have Wait, been. Wait, Steven? Yeah, I, I think that he was probably acting more as your brother than as chief of staff and ordered you back to work too soon. And, and look, I, I knew your situation, right? And, and I didn't question you and your assignment to my OR. No, 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 no. This, this, is, this isn't anybody's fault. I told you both that I was fine, and I Dr. honestly Grace, thought that I was. God, I can't believe I almost killed Lucky's wife. When I heard that you torched the Spencer home, I thought, bravo. Lucky is finally his father's son. And then I heard that your immigrant wife trapped herself, and I realized that you merely acted on impulse, not some ingenious plan. No, it was a temper tantrum and a costly one at that, if your wife's life means anything to you at all. Siobhan's gonna be fine. And any way that I've wronged her is between us. Tell me, Lucky, this um, Siobhan person, is she as hopelessly naive as you? <laughs> oh, or as a woman, can she see through Elizabeth's treacly facade down to the conniving bitch underneath? And your new wife, Siobhan, will she fight for you? What are you even talking about? Oh, Lucky. Lucky, listen to me. Now save yourself from another round reeling from Elizabeth's betrayal. Aiden is not your son. Accept it no. and Aiden, move on. Aiden is my son, and you've known that the whole time. That's why you tampered with the DNA tests in the first place. You should be ashamed of yourself. Luke, Spencer's son, so pathetic and needy of a faithless woman's love, twisting yourself into knots just so that you could believe in Elizabeth one more time. It's not gonna work, Helena. You're not gonna convince me of anything. Luke deserves better than you. I know why you took my son and gave him to Nicholas, okay? Because in your twisted mind, you saw it as the ultimate revenge. I don't know what you mean. No, I mean, what, what better way to screw with the Spencers than to steal one and raise him as a Cassidy and train from birth to hate his own family? Well, I'm flattered that you think I could be so Machiavellian. What, what, what was the end result, huh? Were we going to unleash Aiden on us 20 years from now or something? What a vivid imagination. Of course I deny your allegations. Elizabeth tampered with the DNA results. Now that is a fact whether you accept it or not. Okay, it's time for you to leave. And don't come back and don't even think about messing with my son. Well, I'm finished here anyway. Lucky. Those 20 years you mentioned. Now if Aiden turns out to be handsome, cultured, worldly, smart and ambitious if he has strength of purpose he's a Cassidy. now on the other hand if aiden turns out to be a booze swilling drug addicted boor if he turns into a weapon of self-destruction he's a spencer only time and blood will tell lucky in the end they always do if you're lucky enough to have aiden for 20 years. Lucky. Hey. I'm so sorry. I swear it was an honest mistake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you talking about? The, something went wrong with the surgery. That's why they called me back into the hospital. It, it just happened so fast. That I, I was, wasn't even off the elevator before Stephen okay, pulled me in. Down. And the OR team was being questioned. I didn't even realize it was Siobhan until I was okay, in there. You asked me a long time ago. Just tell me what happened. I almost killed your wife. Siobhan is going to make a full recovery because of Matt. He knew exactly what to do. Okay, just, just sit down for a second. Just take a deep breath. Tell me what happened. I made a terrible mistake in surgery. Okay, well... You know, these things happen. You're an outstanding nurse. I'm oh, sure yeah, I'm so fine. deep in my own fog, I couldn't even read the colors. 
What are you, what are you talking about? What the does medicine, it have to do with The medicine anything? that Chavelle was supposed to get is in a, a vial with a blue label, and I gave her the vial with a green label. Maybe I should have my license revoked. No, that's, that's not going to happen. Well, it, it could. I mean, I shouldn't even been working that night. Look, Elizabeth, you made a mistake, okay? I mean, it, it, it happens, and, and the good news is that Siobhan's fine. She's gonna make it. Matt didn't come right out and say it, but I know this is what he was thinking, what everyone is going to be thinking. Siobhan is your wife. I did this on purpose. Okay, I just wanna make sure I'm clear on this. Matt didn't accuse you of giving Siobhan the wrong meds, right? Right. Right. Did anyone else? No, not yet. But they will be. I mean, come on. Your, your new wife is on the operating table hovering between life and death, and then your ex-wife is assisting the surgeon <sighs> ready to pop her no, off with no, a bad no, no, injection? No, 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 Let's not get paranoid here. Look, everyone who knows you knows that you would never hurt anyone, much less a helpless patient. Thank you for believing in me. Of course. I'm so afraid no one else will.